Sometimes I think we gotta ask ourselves that question, do we wanna stay on the shallow side of life or move to the deep end of life in which God becomes our only lifeguard? Willing to be yourself in the sight of people, no matter what people think. I think that's what it's all about. Welcome back to another day of the Inspired Truckers. I don't care if it's raining out here, if it's sunny out here. Today is another day to prosper. Tomorrow, I promise to you. I want you to think about that. But look, 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 look. We're going to jump straight into today's video. So y'all stay tuned. Like, comment. Go tell your big brother, little brother, little sister. And subscribe. Subscribe. Because we only on the rise. Now look. I want to keep this short and simple right here. Short, simple, and sweet. Because that's the best way to get inside that brain. That's the best way for some people to comprehend this. Now look, I want to talk about the three ways to prosper in trucking and boost like this. No, I just slam. But look, the three ways to prosper in trucking. One, find the right opportunity for you. Now listen to this. I could talk about being an owner operator. You know what I'm saying? All the time I want. An owner operator may not be the best choice for you. Maybe you don't like to deal with paperwork. Maybe you, you really don't care about making more money. You like spending more time with your family. You like going to the gym. You like chilling. Hey, find the right opportunity for you because what worked for me may not work for you. What worked for him may not work for you. And that's the thing that I like about this. The right opportunity is right in your face because this, this industry is so lucrative. You know what I'm saying? That you see all of these containers on this uh, train, you could be delivered. This, this is an abundant industry. So, Find the right opportunity for you. Figure out what's your strengths and weaknesses. And guess what? That very much so thing is the first way you're going to prosper in truck. Anybody can get a CDL. Anybody can truck. So the second thing, number two, go the extra mile. Look, you got to be willing to go the extra mile out here. When I say that, I mean, like, look, nobody that does what's required of them ever sees anything more than what's required of them so look when you talk about making money that some people can't even imagine seeing you got to be willing to put in that extra work so this is a way you prosper in trucking because a lot of times a lot of owner operators or a lot of people in general get paid off the uh, off of their activity that's the way it works the, the service you render that's the payment you see in your bank account so look i learned this concept that Look, if I want an average paycheck, then I'm gonna just do some average work. But if I really want to stand out and and inspire somebody to go harder, I myself gotta be willing to put in that extra work. So that's the second way I have learned how to prosper in trucking and not compare myself, not see if one man is making this much, that that's how much I'm gonna make. No, I'm gonna make however much I wanna make that week based on what I'm gonna do. So that's the second way you can prosper in trucking. Now look, you can go to a nine to five job right now put in only a limited amount of hours because they have a certain salary cap that they really want to to make so even if you want to go harder and make more money you cap in trucking there's no cap there is no ceiling to what you can bring in if you're willing to put it at work so that's the second key to prospering in trucking you know what I'm saying you got your cdl cool now what you gonna do what type of work you gonna do figure out the right opportunity for you and how hard you're willing to go Especially if you're a young man like me. Look, man, I got nothing to lose out here. Nothing to lose. Everything to gain, nothing to lose. So look, that's the first two. Now look, stay tuned for the last one. Number three. What's number three? So number three, let's do the drum roll. Is learning all that you can learn. You can very much so limit yourself. You can limit yourself to doing one thing but I learned something that being versatile, how do you become versatile? Well, obviously you gotta be willing to learn something new. So how important is being versatile? Well, listen to this. I once heard something. The more you're willing to do, the more you make, the more opportunities you get, and the less you can ever be limited. So listen, that third way to prosper, that third way to prosper in trucking, may be one of the most key ways. Staying versatile. Now listen to this. Would a coach rather have a player 
that can only do one thing or that can do several things. Now, that don't mean he's going to be great at the several things, but guess what? If he continue to learn on those several things in order to do, maybe he'll be great at all of them. Every coach, every job, they want people that are versatile because they can be moved around in different positions. Well, it's the same way in trucking. If you need some extra work done in trucking in another lane, guess what? You could go for that season and guess what? Make the most money you ever made. So you got to be versatile and learn everything you can learn about trucking. No matter how old you are, no matter how long you've been in trucking, there's so much to learn out here. And look, that's my three ways to prosper in trucking. I'm prospering in trucking right now. You know what I'm saying? And they, truck, prosperity ain't just monetarily. You know, on a whole nother level, like, I enjoy trucking. This is why I'm out here on the grind every single day. But look, I want you to prosper in trucking, too, if you watch, especially if you're interested. So listen, take heed to what I said. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to keep getting to it. And uh, look, I'll catch y'all in the next video. Don't forget to like, comment, and hey, tell a friend. The Inspired Trucker, I'm out. <laughs> find who you are, live in spirit, and find peace. Our lives are meant to be legacies for somebody else for generations to come. And we got to continue to walk after that and do things that are courageous.